hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to enable multi-processing or workers in Odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition which I'm accessing from my cloud server so we have recently shown you how to create a droplet in digital ocean and how you can get or how you can claim a free credit of 100 usd for the 60 days of usage so yet if you haven't seen that you can just check the video description section to get the video and to claim your free 100 usd credit so once you have a server and we all know that Odoo supports multi-processing and it's necessary to have multi-processing environment in our production system. So if you haven't configured the workers in Odoo, the system will be slow. So I have seen most of the people saying that Odoo is too slow for them, but actually it's mistake of their configuration because they haven't enabled the multi-processing or the workers so in this video what we will be showing is how we can enable the multi-processing or workers in Odoo so here we have Odoo 15 and I have already opened my remote server that is my cloud server in the terminal so let me clear all those things so here I have my terminal and currently if i check the running process using ps ox grep command grep odoo i can see all the running process so if i click on enter you can see the different process currently running on this machine so if you check here you can see different process is running and here you can see we have only a single process or single thread for odoo actually this single process has to handle all the incoming request and it has to serve all the user request coming from different places so currently we haven't enabled the workers in Odoo so let's see how we can enable the workers so in order to enable the workers first of all you have to set up engines a web server so if you have the other options like apache but we prefer to use nginx which we have seen commonly used among odoo peoples so we will show you how we can set up nginx in odoo so we already have made a video about that so i'll be adding that in the video description section and please watch that to see how you can set up nginx so what i have done is if i navigate to cd if i navigate to nginx folder cd etc engines then sites enable ls here you can see i have added a file called odoo.conf or you can put any name simply i have given odoo.conf and here i have configured my upstreams and the necessary details so this is the engines configuration so this is i have done using that video so just see the video so we already have successfully installed engines and what we have to do we have to enable the workers in odoo configuration file so once you install engines and everything is okay just open your odoo configuration file so my configuration file file is in etc path so here we have odoo server.conf so if i open that odoo nano odoo server.conf and if i open so this is the Uru configuration only less a few lines of codes there and what i'll do is that here i'll add workers equal to four and you can see proxy mod is set as true workers four so you might think how we are counting the number of workers so in order to get the number of workers there is an equation so if i go to this tab here we have the odu documentation worker number calculation is a rule of thumb the number of cpu core you have multiplied by two plus one is the number of workers so here i have this is the maximum number of workers that you can accommodate but here i have just given four which is not according to the calculation but it's not higher than that i can apply so simply i'll add four you can set three two etc so here i'll set four and i'll save the file i'll save the file so i have just updated odoo configuration file with four workers so and one worker is equal to six concurrent users so currently i have four workers which is equal to 24 concurrent users as i have made change in configuration file in order to get effect you have to restart the odoo service so i'll just restart my odoo service 
yeah here is my command sudo service udo server stop I'll click on enter to ensure that the service has been stopped just refresh here you can see find out to bad gateway that is udo is not running now let me start it so now started my service and if i come back here you can see odoo is running so everything is fine odoo is running and what you can see we have to go to the terminal again and let's check how much process is running currently so i'll open and enter the command ps augs grep odoo and if i click on enter here you can see how much process is currently running python 3 and you can see this much process is running so initially it was one when we haven't enabled the workers so currently the number of process running has been increased so this is how we can enable multi-processing in Udo. so once we done this you will have much better performance of like rather than zero and there is much more things that you have to configure inside your configuration file so if you check this documentation you will understand and you will be getting the samples like how you can configure the hard memory soft limit request etc so currently as we haven't set anything it will take the default values so you can just read this documentation and set the values accordingly so i hope the video is understandable for you if you have any doubts feedbacks and suggestions don't hesitate to drop a comment directly under the video and we'll be trying to reply you back as soon as possible on your queries so if you like the video please do support us by having a like comment and share and if you love to join the channel it will be a great support for us so you can simply join the channel by clicking the join button so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you